Hey YouTube, TechFucker9 here once again guys. Today is going to be actually going to be a ROM review, my first official one. So uh, I'll be making a lot more too. A lot better one than these, but this is just a startup one. So watch out for that and I'll be going doing like quad and scores and all that. So um, let's get started. This one is actually going to be the, well, <coughs> it's, ba it's, um, it's for the Galaxy S2 phone. It's the Samsung one, and um, this, it's based off the AT&T Skyrockets, so this one will apply to T9, T8, T-Mobile phone, and the AT&T Skyrocket. It is a 4.04 Android ice cream sandwich, and I'm just going to be doing some kind of quadrant scores and talking about the improvements they made from 4.03. So let's do a quadrant score. I actually never done this, so let's see what I get. Let me close settings, get a better score. All right, run full benchmark. All right, let's see the score. I don't know if it's gonna be really good because custom rounds usually get pretty good ones, and uh, if you overclock, you'll get a lot better one with set CPU. Let's try that one day. Uh, well, let's see. It should be. Um, I've been hearing that they improved the speed and uh. It's a lot smoother. I haven't actually tried it a lot. I just got it and just decided to make a video on it right away. But I've been hearing the battery's a lot better. It's a lot smoother and a lot more stable. So that is a uh, that is probably that's what they improved. You know, just minor things, nothing major. Not until the Galaxy S3 comes out pretty soon. It's almost done. And um, as long as I've been using it, I don't know, I've been only using it for a day, so I can't really tell you a lot, but the battery life is pr is improved from the 4.03 one, <clears throat> so that is a win. Alright, so this device is 3,808. You can see that. There we go. 3,808. So, um, it could be better, um, with a custom RAM you'll get a lot better, and there are custom RAMs for both Skyrocket and T-Mobile, and you can install from T-Mobile, and you can install from, um, Skyrocket, it doesn't matter which phone you have, they both work, just the difference is that you'll probably get a, a different, um, different bloatware if it has any, usually, uh, most of them don't, the custom RAMs, and, uh, boot animation will have at t if they haven't changed it. But that's about it, guys. Um, this one still has a touch whiz. Um, it's not very good. If you want a really good touch whiz, I'd recommend Apex Launcher. It's really cool. That's a good one. I'll actually, show you that. Let's do Apex Launcher. I feel it's um a lot smoother, and um, you can do more effects and everything with the default one or the stock. Stock um firmware, you can't do anything with it, no changes or anything. All right, there we go. So you got nice. It's um it's a lot smoother, a lot faster, a lot more sleek. I like it a lot more. It's a lot better. So try it out, guys. You can do folders and all that. It's cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.